Hey guys, you've seen that Korean cream cheese garlic bread that's all over social media, right? You tear into that bread, it's got that ooey gooey stuff coming out of the middle, it's that cream cheese. Well, we've got one here at Duplin we've come up with, and we're calling our Duplin Muscadine Cream Cheese Garlic Bread, and it's even ooier and gooier than the original. So the first thing we gotta do is we have to make our famous muscadine cheese dip that we have here at Duplin. If you've ever been to a tasting, you've had it. The way you normally make this is we take a whole jar of our muscadine pineapple habanero salsa and we add a pound of cream cheese, mix that up, but we're gonna add a little bit more cream cheese to make it a little bit more thick. So we wanna add an extra half a brick to that. That way when we pump it in there, it's gonna stay thick and rich. We've got our filling mixed up. Now what we wanna do is we wanna fill our piping bag. So what you wanna do is you wanna roll the top of this bag down so that you're at the bottom of the bag. So as we fill this up, we can actually start to roll that bag back up and keep all of that mix down in the corner. Because you don't want it to get too far, too close to the top, because we want to be able to pump that out of this corner here. Now that we've got that filled up to the level we want, we want to make sure we get all of that air out of the bag. So get that air out of there. That way when you are squeezing that out of the bag, your top doesn't pop open because you got too much air in there. So you've seen them make this on social media and they always use the small bread like this. Now the way you want to cut this, if you're going to use the small bread, is cut across like this. And it's amazing that they've already made these little lines we can follow on this. They must have known we were going to do this. But you don't want to cut all the way down. You want to cut about to that seam right there. That way you can pipe that stuff in there like that. But you know what? These are too small. We're not using those. We're gonna use a huge loaf of bread like this, all right? Same idea, you're gonna cut not all the way through, but about to right here, and we're going this way with it. And start even about that much on each end where you don't cut. So we're gonna go like this. And again, don't go too deep. If you go too deep, it's all gonna run out on you. And then, to make this where you can pull it off, we're gonna cut this way too. Again, about to right here, you don't wanna cut it all the way through and I would say about an inch each in between. Just like that. You gotta eyeball it, you know, I'm not gonna get my tape measure out or anything. I'm not a carpenter. I'm just cutting bread today. So you see how that pulls apart like that? Look at that, isn't that so cool? It reminds me of a spring toy from the 50s and 60s that we won't name for copyright reasons. But isn't that so cool looking? We're just gonna pipe that right in there. It's time to pump the filling right into this bread. And you wanna make sure this is thick. Just make it come out. You want it sticking out the top, oozing out the top there like that. And if you got somebody holding the bread open for you, that's great. If not, just take your time. But we want this filled. Easiest way to do this is put your hand underneath the bread and just kinda of push it up. And what that's gonna let you do, it's gonna open that bread up and your hand's not in the way as you're pumping the cheese into the bread. All right, now we're gonna take our glaze and just brush that over the top here. And I kinda like to dab it on, because if you dab it, it kinda stays on the top of your bread there a little bit. Kinda pull it towards you. Here we go, like this. This is smelling, looking amazing. We gotta try it. Mm. The toast of the top of that is awesome. I get the muscadine taste in there of that pineapple habanero salsa with that cream cheese. But I'm telling you, that mixed with the toasting on the top of this bread it's just amazing. This would be good for any time. Got a Super Bowl party coming up, March Madness stuff. This summer, try it on the grill. It's, it's just a good time for anybody. And you got enough pieces here to feed, what, 13, 14 people. So definitely try this. Guys, this is awesome. You're gonna wanna do this again and again and again. We'll see you on the other side. This is Frank, and I'm out.